Okay, moving on again. So we just need to... Let's go ahead and finish up the Chief's house. I've been playing for a good amount of time now, so I hope you guys are enjoying this session because I'm going on so much further than what I wanted to. I actually just helped out that lady instantaneously. She didn't even need a request. How about that? I'm just putting her in the front door, so whatever. Fire. Fire. Fruit of Eden. And Fluffy Donut. Let's see what she has. Probably one of the stones. You seem to be sneaking around everywhere lately. Who are you anyway? What? You want to take out the moon ship from the temple? Whose permission do you have to do such a thing? That temple is a sacred place that we desert people and moon people have maintained together. A very noble king named Bam Bamaluma Bamalumba Hamalumba Bamalumba Hamalumba rests here. I can't give a signet to just anybody. You best come back some other time. Chief. Oh, is that you, Ungaga? Chief, Tone is someone we can trust. He saved Mikara and others. Tone can defeat the Dark Genie. Oh, is that so? Well, since it's coming from Ungaga, I have no doubt. Well, where's, where shall I start? First, how to conquer Sun and Moon Temple. Listen carefully. To act, or to reach the last room where the moonship is stored, you must enter through the king's room. To enter the king's room, you need two signets. Well, no shit. One is the sun signet, handed down by the chiefs of Muscalaka. And the other, the moon signet. The moon people who maintain the shrine are supposed to have it. But that's not the case anymore. The lazy moon people entrusted us with the moon signet, signet so they can relax in the woods. <laughs> Meaning that the two signets are both here in Muscoilaca. Unfortunately, they aren't here. Zabo and Enga each have one. Zabo and Enga, okay. I'll tell them so you can get the signets from them. Anyway, good luck to you. Oh, wait a minute. A boy in a green hat. Say, those eyes of yours. Yeah, beautiful eyes. I knew another man with those same sparkling eyes. What the hell, man? <laughs> when I was young, she, or he was the only man who could beat me. He was handsome. But he was no more than 20, that was more than 20 years ago. Uh, but here I am going on and on. Young man, be strong, like he was. Whatever. Just don't hit on me, old lady. Village people needs a tradition called Pole Guardian. All the houses must have a face statue to honor it. Each of the faces has its corresponding totem pole part of wood. Wait, so the totem poles that they have, have to match the ones that they're close to? Each of the faces has a corresponding totem pole party and, and make them face each other. We protect houses from monsters and that's our pole guardian. Okay, corresponding totem pole part. And then we make them face each other. So, what, the houses have to be facing the statues? Other than that, it would be convenient if my house were located nearby the entrance of the temple. Okay. Bag is full. Fuck. God damn it. Didn't, I don't want that. Uh, fucking, let's use that. Yeah, seven. And let's give him Gaga that shit. And the gourd. 
Good to go. We got a pocket. Which is convenient and ironic at the same time. <laughs> pocket increase! Woo! Now we can carry more shit. Woo! Okay, so... Uh... Oh, fuck. What's going on? Okay, I was wondering what the hell what the hell happened. <laughs> all right, ah, there you are. I heard it or heard it from all from ah from the chief. <laughs> this is the moon signet. Don't lose it. Moon signet acquired. Sun and moon temple is dangerous lately. Be careful. Sweet. And what is it? Anga, right? Yep. Into his house. We go. He probably lost his. Oh, that was fast. I heard from Bonka. <laughs> Here. Wow, that was too easy. But really, Bonka was trusting an outsider like you. I wonder what she's up to. What? <laughs> eh. Don't tell me that's my grandfather. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I know. You look exactly like the same as. <laughs> yep, I'm sure you'll be able to stand up to even that genie. Good luck to you. Whatever. We got another gourd, a wind gem, and garbage. Okay, seriously, someone wants that freaking powder and that beauty powder thing, and I have no idea who. Unless... Wait a second. I didn't think of this either. Yeah, which parfait? Any requests? Drawing water is hard to task, but it would be wonderful if the house was close to the oasis. Tasty water. Under Busta. And that's it. Okay, so we need to observe these a little bit. That has no eagle. This has the eagle, so probably uh, that has the horn. Probably want to put. Actually, let's just move this over. Uh, sw swap out that. Ah, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. What am I doing? Does that count? I think it counted. I was going to say, is that a town that's just out there for some reason? Scorpion jerky. What? Oh. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's, uh, what's his name? Ungaga's stuff. So why is this house out here? Stonebreaker. Is this Ungaga's place? Premium chicken. Fruits of Eden. A gourd. And that's it. I guess this is Ungaga's place. Uh, okay, let's see if we can, uh, fucking wrap this up. Somehow. Okay, that's a spider. So move that over. She wants to be... Kind of like... That? Does that still work? What if I just have her like that? I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Finally! It's about time. It's strange. I thought for sure, like, uh, fuck. I think I'm going to sneeze again. Okay, so that doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, I'm confused. 
I am so confused. Stonebreaker. Oh, god damn it. It's only been 19 days. Bag is full of fuck. Taste seawater. Good. Close to the oasis, right? I fucking put the house. Did I put the house? This is a three sisters house. What the fuck? I put the house next to it. What the fuck? Do you want to be like literally next to it? Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I'll just set it right here. Bam. Does that work? Motherfucker. What if I just get rid of it? How about that? Are you happy now? She's still unchanged. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't get it. You know what? Screw it. We'll just move on. Any requests? Well, nothing really. I guess at least requests of the pole guardian. Okay, pole guardian for him. And... Oh, that's right. He wants the sun. So we'll see if that's what he wants. Nope. How about now? How about now? Motherfucker. I'm getting like no feedback from these people. Why? <laughs> okay, we'll just move on to this guy then. God damn it. He's not even here. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Have you been standing out here the whole time? <laughs> Nothing particular. Custom totem pole thing. Ask the chief for about the details. Uh, what is his pole thing? That's. It's got the ugly ass face. Kind of like. Fucking, I really can't tell. Like that one? Yeah, it's that one. That's not his, though. Okay, this one has horns on it. Or one of them has horns. Maybe it is that one. Fuck, I don't know. What do you want? Tradition. God damn it. Oh, this is gonna take a little while to think. So they have to be facing their totem poles, right? Like so. Give him some space. I know this one will be wanting somewhere over here. Oh, okay. I think I get it. Uh, they have to be facing each other. Okay, okay. I think I get it now. Yeah, alright. We are we got some got some yeah we got some progress. I figured it out finally. It only took a decade, and everyone yelling at me probably. He probably I think, yeah. Okay, he's got the tongue thing, which is well fuck, which will be that. Okay, let's see. I hope there's enough room for everyone here. It was the, uh, fucking... That thing. Right? That and the bone. Two bone. He'll be wanting to be sitting over here, because that's his. Actually, can we scoot him back? No, fuck. 
Can we skew her back? Fuck. Can we just... Fuck. <laughs> Actually, uh... What if I just do something similar? Uh, well, shit. She wants... She's gonna need to be close to the oasis, though. Toto's house. Uh, that's... We'll move... 